Alright guys, today we're going to make an eating spoon. You know, I want to welcome any new subscribers if they're here. Thank you. And anyone that's watching, thanks for watching. So we're going to make uh, an eating spoon similar to this. Similar to this. It's hard to see it. This is cedar. Um, and I saw this idea from uh, a guy called Woodcraft Hamster on YouTube, and he got the idea or the way to make this spoon from Lee Stoffer, who's uh, in the UK, and he's a uh, pretty a good craftsman with spoons, and I think he makes his own spoon knives and, and tools now. So, um, so I've already kind of planed this down to, uh, I guess, if you will, more of a a billet, I guess. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how the you achieve some of the things that you want to achieve, like a, a steep bowl for eating, more of like a shovel. So we'll kind of see how that works out here. So what you have to do is, if I can find my saw, Is you, you know, you have to have an idea of where you want the spoon to be. So what you have to do is uh, cut a little, you know, just a, a notch going across here, not even halfway, just a little bit, and that'll be basically the kind of the middle of the bowl. Um, it's hard to explain, but I guess you'll see it come to life uh, shortly here. So uh, let me do that, and I'll be right back. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. And so I've cut the notch here, and hopefully I didn't go too deep. I'm hoping I didn't. And basically, we're gonna create like a V, okay? We're gonna remove material here until we get to that line, so I'm gonna remove a lot, have to remove a lot. Um, so if you can imagine, once the V is there, this will kind of, this part here will be like the upsweep of the bowl. So it's coming up so you can uh, eat better. And this will be, You'll, you'll, you'll see. It's hard to see, uh, I guess, when you uh, move this over here. So I'll do a little bit of this work, and it's just going to kind of eyeball uh, where I want everything to be. You know, it's not perfect. I have a sycamore here. It's pretty tough. Oh, man. Whew. Seems like it's always tough. And then you just go in the opposite way. So I'm just kind of seeing, just trying to kind of give me some reference points here, I guess. Whew, man, you could do this with a with an axe as well. So maybe I'll I'll swing over and do that. But if you have, in my case, I have a shave horse, I can kind of get with the draw knife and kind of shave away to the line. Oh man, not perfect. So that's how you do that. Just keep going down until you get a V. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to swing around and uh, work on this with the axe. It might actually be a little bit easier in this case. All right, be right back. All right, I'm back. So I guess we're going to play around here with the axe a little bit. I don't know how much we're going to be able to see, but maybe swing around. We'll be able to see a little bit more. All right, maybe. So we're just going to continue with that kind of that V pattern a little bit, if we can. And this is a you know, good, good practice for your, uh, I guess for your, for your axe work as well. You know? Hopefully, I didn't go too deep on that cut. So I'm going to flip this around. Now I think he was saying kind of come in from the side and might be a little bit more beneficial 
Because when you come up here, you're getting real close to your fingers and stuff, but ah, I'm okay with that. I don't care uh, too much. I do care, but if I try something that doesn't feel comfortable, then I don't do it anymore, you know? So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to continue doing this off camera, and we're going to make, I don't know if you can see it so far, but we're making a slight notch there, and that's what we're going to do uh, until that's done. Um, I'll be right back, all right? Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I've made the notch here, and I hope I didn't go too deep, but that's, you know, part of learning, you know, part of learning a new technique, I guess, is you have to try it to see how you can improve on it. So that's kind of the cool thing. So I can see it because I've done this once before. So basically the handle is going to go here and you have this this notch if you can see it it's the bowl basically so you know as you're using it think about how you're going to use use the uh the spoon so this is going to be part of the bowl here and it sweeps up so this is how you would eat it you know your mouth would touch all in here so you just kind of scoop up like that so uh, i'm actually going to attempt on camera here i'm probably going to embarrass myself to draw the spoon on camera so you'll probably whoops let me uh, get in my chair here you'll probably um, see me embarrass myself here um, so you guys can see it okay cool all right so let's just see here it's gonna go I have no idea what I'm doing here but I will admit, I, I do believe I've, I've gotten a little bit better at drawing the spoon shape. When I first started um, carving, I, I just really just didn't really know what I was doing as far as making a, a spoon shape. For the life of me, I just couldn't do it. Um, you know, I'm not really an illustrator at all. Just more of a creative person, I guess. So just kind of draw what you think is going to be useful. That looks pretty good. And so that's where I'm going to stop. And I'm going to come back when I have the whole thing drawn out. It might take me a few more minutes. So just be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is about an eight minute video on how I set up the spoon. So if you could see it here, I just, you know, did a, a freehand drawing and that's what kind of makes uh, the spoon great. Uh, you know, it is easier to use templates if you have time to create them or if you do create them. But, you know, with practice, uh, just draw a shape of a spoon that it will probably work and it probably is going to work. So hopefully you could see that. And then you can kind of see how that's going to work. That's actually going to be really, really uh, steep there. So it might be too steep, but again, you, you practice and you will get better. There's only one way to get better, and that's by doing, uh, again, new techniques or just doing what you do. And um, yeah, uh, so let's just take a look here at these two spoons. Yeah, this one's going to be a little deeper. And you know what? That's okay. It adds variety. It's a little bit longer, you know, than what I just did. But you know what? Again, it's okay. They're all different. They're handmade. These are literally one-of-a-kind items. So um, you can't worry about that too much. So now I'm just going to start removing the material underneath to thin this out a little bit just to show you how you, how you do it. And again, remember, just follow the shape of what you've already cut out. So this will go up, this will go up, and you just play around with it, you know. Um, I just learned this technique myself, so, you know, I'm so thankful that people are willing to share their information on YouTube. I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I'm just going to my time again some guys that are that are masters at this stuff they can do it without even drawing a, a, a guide here or a template they can just start hacking away and they have it figured out you know
So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm not going to do show too much of that just because it's going to take me a while. I'm just going to hack away, hack away, and thin this out, and I have a little bit more progress done. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I've, I've made the stop cuts in there, and I wanted to show you the work. So, I, you know, I, there's a lot more to go, uh, work to go, obviously, but I went up, you know, for the bowl. And just ever so slightly on the handle, you know, it's it, you probably can't see it on camera, but it is going up a little bit, and that'll be pared down a little bit more. But it, you know, as you're, you know, you know, creating your your project or getting ready to carve, you know, just think about how it's going to be used. Think about how you would use it, and then think about how you know an average person would use a spoon. Obviously, it sounds a little silly, but you know, you do, you do have to think about how the item is going to be used. Um, so I'm just holding it like that and I can see, you know, the shape of it, you know, how it's going to be used. And that, that tells me that it feels it's good, uh, so far. So I'm really liking this technique that I saw. Um, it, it's, it's really good. So, um, I'm going to lop these sides off here and just start, messing around with it. So I'm going to do that actually off camera. I just wanted to show you the progress really quick. Um, you know, just play around with it and just be careful, you know, and, um, yeah, so I'll be back when there's more done. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's the progress. You'd see it coming to shape now, which is, which is really cool. I feel like this is, I don't know. I'm, I'm really liking this, uh, this technique. I have a lot more to go, but I'm going to just show me, uh, you know, log, uh, hogging this off or chopping it off here um, as I talk. <laughs> Getting kind of bored sitting here by myself, I guess. Um, you know, I'm turn this around here. I'm trying to get better at this camera work. I apologize as always. You know, always being mindful of your. fingers and stuff. And this is a uh, sycamore and I I guess it's it's not really green. There is some a bit of moisture in this stuff still. I, got, I found this uh, this stuff a while back and actually made a cuxa from the other half of this piece that I'm using. So this this half I'm going to be making some eating spoons and some teaspoons as I prepare for a festival in September, forest festival in September. So, um, I was fortunate enough to find that big giant piece and I made a cut so you can check out my Instagram channel for that. I didn't do a video of that one. Um, but we're just very carefully chopping this away. There's still a lot of material to be removed. I haven't even gotten to the spoon knife yet, which I need to get to that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to continue doing that. Um, off camera, well, probably didn't see any of that. Off camera, and you can see it's really coming to shape again, which is really cool. So again, a lot more to be removed, but let's get started. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and there's the progress. It's pretty deep, so this we'll see how it turns out. But uh, it may even be more of a soup spoon than anything, but we'll see. So what I have here is, I'm not going to show too much of this because it requires a long explanation and I love long explanations, is it's a lap vise and specifically I guess it's called a Swedish lap vise and it basically just holds the piece in. Uh, you can actually go on to uh, Dave Canterbury's YouTube channel and he has a pretty good video on uh, how to create this. It's extremely simple. Um, I think it's more for like bushcrafters, I guess, to um, 
put something in your in your pack so you have the ability to clamp a piece of wood down or a piece of something that you need to work on and keep it in your backpack and it's I guess fairly compact this one really is this is a more of a prototype for me um, but yeah so this is what I'm using instead of using the shave horse I think this just to try this out I may do this um, use this thing for demonstrations if, uh, at the next festival that I go to. So again, it's just a new tool and I've used it a little bit now, um, but you know, just like with anything, I'm still kind of getting used to it. So uh, just requires some practice. You may not see too much of the work here, but just, you know, in some ways this is better than the shave horse to use because you have a little bit more freedom. More, whoops. So again, this is just another tool that I'm learning how to use. And hopefully over time, I will get better at, at using it and we'll see. This is gonna be a pretty deep spoon. Yeah, I think I cut it a little bit too deep, deeper than what I wanted intended it for, you know. Oh man, I almost cut myself there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just continue removing the material here from the bowl. And when there's more done, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. This is gonna be a long spoon video. I'm trying to make this quick. So that's what we have so far. I've uh, kind of hollowed out the bowl. I'll, I'll probably play around with it a little bit more, but right now I'm gonna start removing material from the handle and underneath. This probably takes a while because you have to get this really thin. So um, I guess I'll just get started and play around with it. Hopefully you guys can see. I can't see the camera, see what the camera can see, so. I really have no idea. And again, this is fairly green or fairly, I'll say moisturized, if that makes sense. It's not exactly perfectly green, but it was a big, thick piece of wood, so it, uh, oh man, it's tough, Jesus. It's not even dry, it's just, man, oh my God. Some of that nice freckling on the side, so that's kind of cool. Whew, it's always kind of hard to film these spoons because you have to get into some weird angles sometimes and the angles change so frequently, so I try to try my best to show you some up close stuff if I can. You know, it's hard. So, I'm just hogging away here. So, basically, that's all we're going to really do. We're just going to keep following the, the pattern here, getting the inside here of, I guess, the neck, and just really get in there a lot and give it some shape and structure and that's all we're going to keep doing and going around so be right back when there's more done be right back all right guys i'm back and i think i'm i'm pretty much done Let me show this thing real quick it still has to dry for a little bit and i'll have to i may have to sand it there are some spots that i'm not really too pleased with but Here's the, the spoon here. It's pretty deep, and I think, again, that's just the... It's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, I guess. Um, handle is pretty good. 
it's it is comfortable it does scoop everything um, or scoop at least if I can get the uh, shavings here <laughs> you know oops not a good example but you know it, it does scoop pretty well which I think will be good for eating some stews um, you know it, it's it's pretty robust so I'm happy with this um, I'm going to continue to refine this I actually have another spoon I'm going to make tonight in a similar style just not as deep um, and uh, you know we'll continue the process I'm not going to do make a video of that I am going to show some of the progress on my Instagram page so um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video guys see you later